Josh Mitchell and the Cardinals seniors hoping to do their part against Eric Westerberg and the Augustana Vikings to make sure their season doesn't end in Rock Island as they look to secure the share of their seventh straight CCIW championship. And it's Mitchell who sets the tone in this one as he fields a Viking punt at the 20-yard line and he streaks down the left sideline before cutting it back to the middle with only two guys to beat. He turns on the afterburners to put North Central in front with an 80-yard return for score. Vikings looking to respond as they reverse it to Chris Salazar, but he decides to air it out to Torrey Harrell, and he pulls in the 42-yard grab. That sets up a 25-yard Viking field goal to make the score 7-3. First play of the Cardinals' ensuing drive, Spencer Stanek looking over the middle, but Bo Gosshorn says Bo knows it's coming. His interception leads to another field goal and it's 7-6 Cardinals after one. Stanek makes up for the pick in the second quarter as he puts one right on the mark for 21 yards to Chad O'Kane. That same combo would cap off the drive with a 13-yard touchdown toss and grab to increase the lead to 14-6. Josh Mitchell not done showing off his return skills in this matchup as he takes another Viking punt at the 33-yard line and follows some great blocking down the far side to flip the field, and it leads to a Nick Dace field goal. Then with 19 seconds left in the half, Cardinals force a Viking punt, and Mitchell sheds Vikings left and right to put the Cardinals in striking distance. Dace closes out the first half with a 37-yard field goal to make it 20-6 Cardinals. Dace would add another field goal in the third, and in the fourth quarter, it's Moore Mitchell again flipping the field. He averaged over 37 yards of punt return in the contest. The Cardinal offense wouldn't settle for a field goal on this drive, as Stanek hits O'Kane, who takes North Central into the red zone. Nick Kukoc would put the cherry on top of this one as he takes the pitch and works his way five yards in for the score to make it 30-6 Cardinals. The defense wouldn't let the Vikings get any closer as Peter Mann reads the screen pass perfectly and does his best Josh Mitchell impersonation with the return. That led to a Cardinal touchdown and North Central claims a share of their seventh straight conference title. You know, we had a, a good game plan in and uh, Coach Thorne definitely, you know, prepared us all week long. We had good, good blocking, uh, blocking schemes and they just blocked their butts off and I just ran. You know, I, I mean, it, it wasn't, I didn't do much. They, they did all the work, I just ran. So it wasn't hard for me. I just got into space and let those guys block for me, so. Josh had a heck of a day. That was unbelievable. Every time he touched the ball, I feel like we only had 20, 30 yards to go. Um, but this week, just holding on the ball was our big thing. You know, last week against Wheaton, that hurt us a lot. And I feel we held on the ball a lot better. Well, our D-line uh, really played at a different level today. And I just don't think that they were able to play with us today. Um, Coaches put, up, put together a great uh, game plan for us. And I mean, we just executed and when we were in the place to make plays, that's it. They did some things um, where if you get in there and watch the film, you can kind of get a hold of what's happening right when the play started. So it's a lot of hard work during the week and it definitely paid off. Guys up front, um, you know, worked really hard and whenever they work hard, we get nice plays. Either way, uh, we played as hard as we could this season. Um, last time we lost the game, we went seven in a row, so if we get another chance, we'll, that'll take us right up to the national championship. So uh, we'll hope for that win over there at Elmhurst. With the victory and an Elmhurst College win over Illinois Wesleyan, the Cardinals secure a bid to the NCAA Division III football playoffs. Brackets will be announced Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern time on NCAA.com.